Behold, even in a land beset by terrible beasts and monsters, there is nothing more horrifying than... A man with excessive nose and ear hair. Luckily, Udragoth has the world's finest nose and ear hair specialist, Barber Ian. But Oswich is sidetracked on the way to his weekly trim by the Oracle on 34th Street. Lo, I have seen the future. Listen close and never forget. Great blistering ocelot! I've got to warn everyone! Batten down the castle! Gather the troops! Spit out your gum! The monsters are coming! Anybody gonna eat that? There's no time to waste! The Oracle says a band of terrible, brutish monsters will reach Udergoth tomorrow at noon! Oh my gosh! It's horrible! That the land is in danger? No! That Uncle Oswich has enough hair sticking out of his face to knit a sweater! That's hereditary, you know! It could happen to me! Dave, you and Fang deal with this monster thing. I'll be on facial hair watch 24-7. Oh, it's so nice to have a princess who can really take control. Bake a roll? I don't think this is the time, Lola. You better trim that ear here before I do it for you, Buster. Hey! You can't run away! We have to deal with that band of monsters! How about I deal with them by sending them a postcard? Maybe a nice seascape or a... That ain't how you deal with monsters! You smash them! Why do we always have to do things your way? Cause. Cause why? Cause. Cause why? Cause. Cause why? Cause. Cause why? Knock it off or I'll turn you into stacks of spoiled lunch meat. Sorry, Sorry Uncle Oswich. Soggy young galoshes. We shouldn't fight about this, Fang. We can try dealing with those monsters my way and your way. You're right. Dibs on first! Darn it! The Uger got the Anami wants you! That's right. Sign up now and you'll get to fight! School. You're going to teach us to fly. No, 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 no. I'm going to teach you to flee. Flee with the blinding speed of the true coward. Now watch. Ah! ah, most impressive display of cowardice. Thank you, thank you. It's a gift. Okay, this time I'll go a little slower. The first rule of fleeing is keep your knees up. And the second rule is... Look out for poles. While Dave and Fang prepare to battle monsters, Princess Candy is fighting a battle of her own. Ow, 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 ow. Against the dreaded forces of unwanted facial hair. Ow, 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 ow. Candy, can you? Ah! What? Too much plucking? Come on, you can be honest. Hello? Meanwhile, their plans having failed, Dave and Fang agree to cooperate. Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! You might want to fast forward through this. Yeah, it ain't getting any more interesting. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Wait! You want to smash the monsters? I don't want to smash the monsters. How about we compromise? We have someone else smash the monsters. Of course! We need the oldest kind of protection there is. A, a guard beast! beast. <laughs> Uncle Oswich, can you make us a giant guard beast? Sure. But who? <laughs> but why do you want to be giant hard cheese? Uh-oh. I'm allergic to cheese. <laughs> Eventually, through pure blind luck, Oswich stumbles upon the desired magic spell. Kashrill is a movie! Yes. Fathoms? Is that you? <laughs> yep, it's you. And so, with Faffy transformed into a giant guard dragon, Dave and Fang have nothing more to fear. Calm down! It's just Oswich's special magic mud mask, guaranteed to eliminate unsightly hairs. Does it work? I sure hope so. Well, how do I look? Um... <gasps> you know, 
in some cultures, a thick covering of glossy fur is considered attractive. I should have known better. Uncle Oswich's magic never works. He worked great a minute ago. He turned Fabby into a guard dragon. Yeah, I can see how well that turned out. Yes, since Oswich's spell didn't specify what Fabby was to protect, Fabby is attempting to protect everything from everything else. Fabby sets out to protect the thieves from the peasants. The young from the old! And the small green lumps from the other small green lumps. Fortunately, Dave and Feng are there to deal with the rampaging dragon. Well, to argue about how to deal with him anyway. If we'd done this my way and fought that band of monsters, this never would have happened! Oh, yeah? We'll check out how well my way works. He's up! He's up! with some of that magical, blasty energy stuff. And get a bunch of angry letters from the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Dragons? Forget it. Pajabbers. Excuse me. You okay? Uh, I'm a little thirsty. Meanwhile, deep in the mountainous bamboo forests of central China... Dude, pull my finger. And back in Udragoth... I still say running away is best. Now I have to take my annual bath early, and it's all your fault! Nuh uh! Yeah, uh huh! Nuh uh! Yeah, uh huh! Uh, do we have to argue all the time? Is it some, like, biological thing about brothers and sisters? I'm so tired of it! Well, I'm tired too! Tired? Holy lolloping gooseberries! That's it? I know how we can stop Baffy. Oh, if only I had the assistance of some minstrels. Hello, Udrigal! Are you ready to rock? They're not ready. Quick, we need your help! <laughs> Fang, what rhymes with dragon? Faggot! Bingo! <laughs> Voila! Oh, you're a giant dragon, crushing, stomping, plodding. But your eyelids are a sagging, and your noggin is a nodding. Go to sleep, my scaly buddy. Go to sleep. <laughs> Norman. Trim your ear hair! About 12.15, why? Wait, I'll handle this. Hey, Oswich, learn khaki tackle orbit. Turn Faffy back to normal? Sure thing. See, you just have to know how to talk to him. But with Faffy restored to normal, who will defend Udragoth? Our heroes hurry to seek out the advice of he who predicted the arrival of the Band of Monsters, the Oracle on 34th Street. Quick, how can we fight that Band of Monsters you said was coming today? Band of Monsters? Yeah, you said a Band of Terrible Brutish Monsters was coming and... No, oh, no, I said a Band of Terrific British Minstrels was coming and there they are. We're available to play birthdays, weddings and invasions. Uncle Oswich, you heard him wrong! I did not hurt a swan. Uh-oh. Now let's hurry up and get your nose hair trimmed, too. Hmm. Maybe I should have mentioned that it's tomorrow the terrible, brutish monsters are coming. Nah, they just worry. Later, after much hair trimming... Well, Fang, I guess we really learned something today. When we were fighting, we didn't get anything done. But when we stopped fighting and worked together... We created a giant dragon that almost destroyed the whole kingdom! Exactly. We've learned that you shouldn't even try because you're doomed to failure from the start. Amen to that, big brother! Look! I knitted a sweater from the hair sticking out of Oswich's face! <laughs> hmm. Smells like nose. The Savage 
land of Udragoth, a kingdom teeming with all manner of ferocious, untamed brutes, and surely its mighty ruler must be the most bloodthirsty of them all. That blue eyeshadow totally makes her look trampy. So much for that theory. collecting for the Save the Unicorns Fund. Eh, there'll always be plenty of unicorns. Hello, I'm collecting to help cursed children every day. Somewhere in the world, a child has turned into a donkey. You want to know what's really bad? All that bam, bam, bam on the door. A nice doorbell. Is that too much to ask? You are so selfish. Why, a doorbell is more important to you than the poor donkey kids. Here. This is for the children. Oh, thank you. I am not selfish. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. I'll prove it. The next person who knocks on that door will get my absolute and total support. <laughs> no way. Good day, young lady. I am Hamwise. And I am Bafunda. We represent... Whatever. I, Princess Candy, the unselfish ruler of Udragoth, pledge you my absolute and total support. You hear that? The princess is going to lead us back to our land and defeat the bloodthirsty invaders! Um, ooh? We are the lost race of Reber! Long ago, we were cast out of our land by invaders. For years, we've wandered in search of Reber, hopelessly lost despite... Yeah, well, we wouldn't be lost if you'd just ask for directions. Don't start up with me! Is it so hard to pull over and say, excuse me, which way is Reba? Are you saying you want something more than small change? Because that's what I meant by absolute and total support. Small change. Mm -hmm. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Does so! Does not! Does so! You think I'm gonna bail on my promise? Well, I'm not! We are gonna get these people their land back! Well, good luck with the... We? If I'm gonna help these guys, everybody's gonna help! You guys do! Done! Thus, with the Reberites cheering them on, our heroes set out to find the long-lost kingdom of Reba. A grueling journey requiring all their... Here we are! Behold! I have unselfishly found your long-lost homeland! It's smaller than I remember. How did we ever pick that color for the wall? Hideous. Hey, you've been searching for your land for years, and I found it for you. Yeah, well, whoop de dingle do. Why should I help you guys if you aren't even grateful? Really selfless people help others and expect nothing in return. Why? Are they stupid? They do it because they care, and you don't do it because you are selfish. Selfish, selfish, selfish! Am not! Come on, let's defeat those bloodthirsty invaders! <laughs> All right, invader guys, open up! Nobody here. Um, there's something you should know. Huh? The invaders are Invisigoths. Thanks for the heads up! Invisigoths? It is said that no one has ever seen an Invisigoth and lived to tell the tale. Of course no one's seen them! They're invisible! I stand by my statement. Okay, I said we're helping! Jerks, and we're gonna. Ahem. We can hear you. Uh, Candy, I take back what I said about you being selfish, okay? Now let's go home. No way, Big Ears. Soon as we get home, you'll be all. See, you are selfish. Neener, neener, neener. Big Ears? Okay, we need a plan. These guys can't be invisible all the time, right? I mean, how would they coordinate outfits? Outfits! That's it! I hope this is important. I was busy bemoaning the ghastly, aching void that is my meaningless life. Someone needs a hobby. Are my ears big? Ears? I thought they were dinner plates. Yes, Candy has an idea. An idea with terrible consequences. In order to defeat the Invisigoths, she must part with her dearest friend in all the world. Her wardrobe. There. These are all my clothes. No, they're not. You got that whole warehouse full. Well, these are all my best clothes. The Invisigoths won't be able to resist putting them on, and then we'll be able to see them. These guys are vicious warriors, Candy. Why would they want to wear your clothes? Duh, because they're cute. Yay, the future of the lost race of Reba now rests entirely on the Invisigoths' taste in clothing. Oh, you just look at this lovely velvet. That's real quality. You see how it drapes? Oh, what a cute blouse. 
I'm so sick of wearing the same invisible armor every day. That really brings out the color of your eyes. Does this hat make me look hippie? Oh, the polka dots are definitely you. Brilliant. Now we know where they are. Come on, let's get them. George! So, I uh, could go for a Danish. With your cholesterol? Don't start up with me. All right, Invisigoths. Prepare to be harmed. You dare challenge the Invisigoths? Oh, my gosh. They ruined my clothes. Well, the rump whomping we're about to get should help take your mind off it. Powers are formidable. This calls for that cool frozen in midair thing. Stupid frozen in midair thing. This is terrible. Terrible! I asked for a plain bagel and they gave me raisin. Who eats raisin bagels? That is disgusting. You know, we appreciate your help and all, but... Maybe you should give up before we have to wipe you up with paper towels. Give up? <laughs> Great idea! You've proved you're not selfish, okay? So let's just give up! Candy considers this. Surely she has no more to prove. Yet from somewhere, she seems to hear a small voice saying... He may believe you're not selfish, but if you give up now, you'll never believe it yourself. It's true, I... Who said that? It is I, the mosquito. Once I too was a beautiful princess, but for my selfish ways, I was cursed to live as a mere insect, giving advice to those in need. You know what? You're right. I'm okay. I can't give up now. The magic talking mosquito told me so. Right. Okay, new plan. The Invisigoths can see each other, can't they? So if we become invisible, we'll be able to see them too. Right? Eh, makes about as much sense as anything else in this story. And so, Oswich calls upon his mighty magical powers to render our heroes invisible. Which goes just about as well as you'd expect. What happened? Ah! Hmm, swan! Ah! Ah! Oh, We're invisible! Creepy, I can see through my eyelids. Come on, let's kick some Invisigoth Keister! Uh oh, they could see us. Whoa, our heroes begin a titanic battle with the invisible. Why didn't you do it before? Pig, 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 get off my back, man. Come, people of Reaver. The kingdom is yours once more. Man, I forgot what a dump this place is. Yeah, who needs it? Excuse me? Well, we want to come back to Udragoth with you guys. Your kingdom is way better. You have indoor toilets and, and golf. I gave up my wardrobe. I got my tail kicked by sweaty, invisible guys. And you don't want your kingdom back? Not really. No. Well then! Come back to Utrecht with us. I believe I have jobs for you. Yay! Ding dong! Gosh, Candy, I love our new doorbell. Ding dong! Ding dong! Ding dong! You got us into this. Don't start up with me! 
It's nearly time for some Hakuna Matata with those grub grabbers Timon and Pumbaa, next on Disney Cinemagic. They just love bugs!